It just takes one mosquito bite to cause the malaria. So let us learn something about the malaria. Hello, I'm Dr. Minesh Mehta. I'm a physician and a critical care specialist at Shelby Hospital in Ahmedabad. Malaria basically is a parasitic infection. See, malaria is a preventable and a treatable disease. It is being transmitted by the female anophilus mosquitoes. Suppose a mosquito which carries a malarial parasites, if it bites a person, then what happens is they suck the blood. By sucking blood, it inserts the malarial parasites into that particular person. And that's how that person gets a malarial disease. Another example is, in your family, suppose somebody has got a malaria, and a mosquito in your house, if bites that person, it sucks the malarial parasites, and if the same mosquito bites the another person in your family, the another person also will get a malaria. So that's how the disease is spread. The first and the commonest symptoms of malaria is fever. Fever is often cyclical. Cyclical meaning sometimes it comes at every alternate day and is associated in most of the cases with chills, rigors, or even sweating. The other associated symptoms which are commonly seen in malaria, they are headache, vomiting, diarrhea, body pain, or even a severe myalgia. In severe cases of malaria, you can even have a jaundice, kidney failure, seizure, coma, and even a death. The gold standard of diagnosis of malaria is by the blood smear microscopic examination by the experts. There are even rapid diagnostic tests which are available nowadays which can detect the malarial parasites and it can detect even the species of malarial parasites because it is important to know which will help us in further guidelines for the treatment of the malaria. Malaria can be uh, uncomplicated or it can be complicated. Suppose if you have uncomplicated malaria, meaning patients visits to the hospitals on the OPD basis, and if there is no organ failures and patient just have the symptoms of malaria, in that case, the patient can be treated with the oral medications like chloroquine, quinine, doxycyclines and there are many more and it will take roughly around five to seven days for the complete recovery if patient has got a complicated malaria meaning if malaria is associated with the organ dysfunctions suppose patient has a malaria with involvements of the lungs kidney heart brain in that case it becomes complicated and in that case, patient needs to be hospitalized and he will be treated under the medical supervision. In these cases, the recovery will depend on the severity of the disease and sometimes it may take weeks to months. No, malaria is not contagious. Suppose I am sitting next to the malarial patients, I will not get the malaria like you get it in the common cold. But yes, malaria can be transmissible. It can be transmissible through the blood transfusions. If you share the infected needles or even during the pregnancy where the mother can transmit the malarial parasites to the child. The commonest thing which can prevent the malaria is by preventing the mosquito bite. So that can be done by use of the 
mosquito net by use of the repellents, by use of by spreading the insecticides and by proper management of the stagnated water because it is important in preventing the breeding sites for the mosquitoes.